I got to record more videos while the light is good and while everything is working the way it is. So this video is actually um, a review of the Deer and Doe uh, cardamom dress. Um, here it is here. Um, of course, if you guys don't know, the Deer, Deer and Doe is a French pattern company. Um, they have some excellent patterns. Um, I'm of the opinion that I'm here in the US, but I really believe that pretty much the French, the German, the English, their sewing scene is so much more vibrant. And I really feel that they have patterns that, I mean, the US is really lacking in. So um, if you do get a chance, some of the patterns, of course, they may be a little bit more expensive, but they're definitely worth it in the fact that they come together quickly. Um, they're well-written, patterns are well-graded. Um, so definitely try them. Uh, Deer and Doe, actually, this pattern is the cardamom dress. Um, and I'll kind of show you guys more of it here. Um, but... For whatever reason, I don't see a lot of this dress on the internet, and I think that it came out, I think they released it in like 2015. I'm not sure why there's not, why it hasn't been made more, because it's a really great pattern. Uh, there's a lot of shirt dress patterns out right now, um, and that may be part of it. I know one of the most popular ones seems to be the elder shirt dress, and this is my opinion that the cardamom dress is like so much better. Um, it looks better, um, and I mean, I've only, I've read the elder shirt dress, I don't actually personally own the pattern, but I've kind of read through the pattern, and I've looked at it, and this dress is just better, um, by Deer and Doe, so this is my first, uh, Deer and Doe pattern that I'm working on, other than I did their free, um, plantain shirt, uh, plant, it's like a t-shirt, um, but this is the first one. I have several other ones. This is the first one I'm actually doing, and I will be doing more. And I'm glad to pay the $20 plus to get this pattern because it's just that great, and I think I'm going to get that much use out of it. So you will notice um, that in Deer and Doe patterns, of course, because it's French, they actually have two booklets, um, the English um, language one and the French. I have the French up there. I mean, I, I can't read French, so... Um, I just have this out here, but um, they rate this a four out of five difficulty, the cardamom dress. I don't think it's that difficult. I really would think it's more of a two out of five. The most difficult uh, parts of it, it does have a collar, which I guess if you've never done a collar before can be difficult. I've done a collar once, um, but and I didn't have any problem with this. And then also it has shirring on the back. So maybe that's why they thought it might be more difficult. Um, but it's not that difficult to do the shirring with the um, elastic thread. Some machines do have trouble. Um, I've only done shirring once as well. And it was back like five years ago. I'd only been sewing for maybe like six months to a year at the time. And I had a, I had a brother machine that was just not just kind of basic dollar, you know, like uh, not very high dollar machine. So it really, there's some adjustments that you have to do to those machines. And actually, if you will Google like brother tension for shirring or shirring with a brother sewing machine, you'll actually be able to find some tips. So if you've got um, one of those brother machines, you'll be able to find the, um, find the advice that you need on how to adjust your machine for that. So other than that, it wasn't that difficult. Um, the pattern came together pretty quickly. I um, I believe, um, like most gear and doe patterns, it goes um, from a European 34 to a 46. And now their um, deer and doe has released PDF patterns that go up to the plus sizes uh, to 54. So uh, 46 to 54. So, you know, if you are um, a plus size lady, they do actually they've made some adjustments to accommodate that now um i in this dress i'll show you here so this is a um it's a 38 
Um, I could have done probably a 36 because it is pretty generous in the, um, the amount of room that's in the dress, but it turned out beautifully. Um, I actually had planned to, um, and I still do, I bought some Liberty fabric when I went to DC and that's the original um, fabric that I wanted for this dress. Um, actually, I will probably, you'll probably see me post on Instagram when I actually make the Liberty dress. But I was using this um, African wax print because I thought it would be good um, just to kind of practice with. And I didn't expect too much trouble with the dress. But of course, if you guys know anything about Liberty fabric, you want to make sure that it's perfectly right before you cut into it and, um, and use it. So I just used this leftover um, African wax print that I bought just to be sure, you know, that it was going to fit exactly like I wanted it. And it did. And the dress came together beautifully, um, very quickly. Um, it didn't take me, I had to keep doing it in parts, but I truly believe that had I sat down, if I'd had, you know, let's say six to eight hours at a time, I could have cut it and sewn it all together um, with no time. And I made the short sleeve version. I'm debating if on my Liberty, I wanna make the long sleeve. I know I have enough fabric for it or if I just want to make another short sleeve. So, but otherwise, I mean, it's a great pattern, um, came together quickly, the instructions are perfect. So whoever translated it, um, it says English translation by Anna Prato. Don't know who you are, but your English translation was spot on. Um, the instructions that Deer and Doe provided are excellent. So much so that I think even if you are maybe a beginner, confident beginner, you know how to work your machine and everything like that. I don't think you'll have too much trouble with the pattern. So it's great. And I will post some more pictures of my dress here so that you can see kind of what I've done. But other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, follow me on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter at Emerald Gina. And also uh, keep up with me on my website, emeraldsocialclub.com, as soon I'll be putting up some more information about uh, my sewing retreat that will be in March of 2018. Thank you guys so much, and goodbye!